more of a how you don't do it video, but hey, we'll work with it. Well, there's our problem, people. As you can see, there's our problem. Hey everyone, this is Jerry with Big Dreams Little Homestead, and we have a problem. As you can see, we've moved the solar, and we're getting some more sun time on them panels. But as you can see, this is a problem. And I hate to do it, but it's a problem. We're going to have to fix because we can't have that block in the sun. And it blocks it for a good portion of the morning. And we got to have that morning time, that afternoon time, and that evening time. So, we're going to have to take care of it. So, here we go. Guess I better make sure we got some bar oil and some, well, we got some good bar oil. I'm sure we're good on that. You know. I definitely recommend these, recommend these Echoes. These are some good chainsaws. I just sharpened my chain and I knocked the feeler gauges or the, or the, uh, I forget what the best they call them. Now that we've got, as you can see, our wedge here, um, now all we have to do, show them back here, now all we have to do is cut a little bit back here and it should fall, well I don't think, I, I didn't put that wedge in quite where I should have, but the main thing is we don't fall, want it falling towards the panel. So. took out my water catchment, but I didn't take out my panels. I'm sure that'll go right back in there, guys. So, let's look up at the sun. Of course, now it's all cloudy. But you can see that cleared up quite a bit right there. But we still have this issue right here. You can see it's blocking the sun. It's shading my panels here. So I can't let that happen. So I don't want to take down this whole tree right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chainsaw down because getting up in a ladder with a chainsaw is a little too dangerous. So we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to get up in a ladder with a sawzall. And uh, we'll go ahead and take that 
uh, go ahead and put this chainsaw up, son. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and uh, uh, put the chainsaw up, and then we'll use my trusty number two. I love this thing. So really what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down that one branch right there which is going up. I'm going to hope it doesn't clip my panel. If it does, I hope it don't mess. I hope, hope it doesn't mess this corner panel up. This is a good one. Timber! Well, we wiped out some dishes, but we didn't wipe out the panel. So that, my friends, is success. So what have we learned, guys? If something gets in your way, don't just live with it. Look, we're already getting better sun, I can tell. And we're still full clouds, guys. Look at that. Well, there's one more we're going to take down. One more we're going to take down. And that's going to be this one right here. Yeah, I'm just going to take out this one right here without, uh, without messing with this part because it's going in the right way. And as you can tell, this one right here is close to this power pole, which it's not my power, power line, but still my neighbors and I certainly don't want to cut them out of their power so <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can direct this right here over not on my tank preferably but I, I shot for the tank because I can fix that and I and, and it's in a metal containment so the tank isn't really in danger and my PVC, it's not glued together. So that's a good thing about not gluing it is, is that you can take it apart to clean it and maintenance and all the other things. So yeah, this is causing me problems. So it has to go. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. So here we go. Kind of a jumpy video, but anytime you're doing this kind of stuff, you know, you just, roll with the punches. I'm definitely going to aim this where it won't get into that power line if I'm lucky. But it's kind of leaning that way anyway, so we'll just have to see what we can make happen. <laughs>
always clear stuff like this out of your path. And honestly, with these bricks here, I didn't realize these were all here. This is not ideal, but that's what I got, so. how you don't do it video but hey we'll work with it now that I've got my wedge in I'll bring you in so there's your wedge so what you want to do right there what you want to do is you want to leave at least about that much and come up here and cut those back those back uh, threads or whatever they are in the wood and it'll naturally fall the way you have aimed it with that we go look we touched that line it's jiggling but it didn't come down and that's probably how you don't do it but that's how we do it here on big dreams little homestead and now we've got a mess to clean up but you know what I bet our panels are already getting better sun let's go take a let's go take a little look see Got trees all over. Look like we've been through a storm, people. Oh, yeah. Look at that there. I see I got to clean them. So we're going to do that, and I'll show you that in an upcoming video. But, yeah, look at the difference. Look at what that just cleared up. Look at that panel. We're in full, so we got a little shade over here. I think that's because we need to tilt it a little bit because we moved it the other day from over there to uh, right here. So guys, whatever gets in your way, beat at it, cut it, whatever you got to do to get it out of your way so that you can move on to the next problem. I appreciate everyone that came through. And we will catch y'all next time. Peace.